reconcile it in your conscience to say something that will relieve my father's sorrow? I will try, dear people. But why does he sit night after night in this drafty old ruin? Why do I sit here to escape the pirate's clutches? I describe myself as an orphan, and God help me, I am no orphan. I came here to humble myself before the tombs of my ancestors and to implore their pardon for having brought dishonor upon the family escutcheon. But, sir, you forget. You bought the property but a year ago, and the stucco on the baronial castle is scarcely dry. <laughs> In this chapel are ancestors. You cannot deny that. With the estate, I bought the chapel and its contents. I do not know whose ancestors they were, but I know whose ancestors they are. And I shudder to think that their descendant by purchase if I may so describe myself, should have brought dishonor upon the family of Scotchin. Oh, be comforted. Had you not acted as you did, those reckless men surely would have rounded up the nearest clergyman and married your large family on the spot. I thank you for your proffered solace, Frederick, but it is unavailing. I assure you, such is the anguish and remorse that I feel at the abominable falsehood by which I escaped these easily deluded pirates, that I would go to their simple-minded chief this very evening and confess all, did I not think that the consequences would be most disastrous for myself. When does your expedition march against these scoundrels? At eleven. But before midnight, I hope to have atoned for my involuntary association with the pestilent scourge by sweeping them from the face of the earth. And then, dear Mabel, you will be mine. Are your devoted followers at hand? Yes, they only await my order. Then Frederick, let your escort a lion hearted be summoned to receive a general's blessing ere they depart on their dread adventure. Dear sir, they come. <laughs>
acts of theft and pillage, of which at a sense of duty stern dictation, I, circumstances victim, have been guilty. Young Frederick, who calls Your late commander, it's I, your little room. Oh, mad intruders, how dare ye face no, ye not, O rash ones, that I have doomed you to extermination. Have mercy on us. Hear us say you slaughter. I do not think I ought to listen to you. <laughs> Yet mercy shall alloy our stern <laughs> resentment. And so I will be merciful. Say on. <laughs> Most curious, most absurd. <laughs> 
that you would build two more comrades. My comrades? <laughs> oh, I'm afraid you don't appreciate the delicacy of your situation. You were apprenticed to us. Until I reached my 21st year. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Until you reach your 21st birthday. And if we're going by birthdays, you're only but five and a little bit over. Oh, don't tell me you're going to hold me to that. Oh, no. We merely remind you of the fact and leave the rest to your sense of duty. Your sense of duty? Oh, don't put it on that footing. Just as I was merciful to you now, be merciful to me. I implore you not to insist on that letter of our bond, just as the cup of happiness has reached my lips. Oh, we insist on nothing. We content ourselves with pointing out to you are you a duty? Your duty. But, but I, though I, oh. well, you have appealed to my sense of duty, and my duty is all too clear. I abhor your infamous calling. I shudder at the thought that I had ever been mixed up with it. But my duty is before all. At any cost, I will do my duty. Aha, bravely spoken. Come, you are one of us once more. Lead on. I follow. <gasps> oh, Vorm! What is the matter? Ought I to tell you? No, I can't. No, oh, but as a member of your band... Oh, speak up! I charge you by that sense of conscientiousness to which we have not yet appealed in vain! General Stanley, yes. Yes. the father of my Mabel, yes. 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 escaped from you on plea he was an orphan. He did! Well, it breaks my heart to betray the honored father of the girl I adore. But, as your apprentice, I have no alternative. It is my bounded duty to inform you that General Stanley is no orphan. <laughs> what? And worse than that, he never was one. <laughs> oh, am I to understand that to save his contemptible life, he dared to practice on our credulous simplicity? Oh, our revenge shall be swift and terrible. We will gather our band and attack your morning castle this very night. Oh, but stay. Not a word. He is doomed. <laughs> Away, away, my heart's on fire. I burn this base to set you to repair. This very night, my vengeance nigh. So what itself ignore? Away, away. Away, away, there I expire. I find my duty hard to do today. My soul is filled with anguish dire. It strikes me to the core. Away, away. With walls so far, we trick the song of light. And vengeance how the fire and so decide. And in return tonight the traitor dies. Yes, yes, tonight the traitor dies. Yes, yes, tonight the traitor dies. Tonight he dies. It's yes, early tomorrow. It's the girls like what? The one in the world. The one that's fought. The one that's fought. The one that's fought. To abuse it shall perish. Because it's early tomorrow. It's the girls like what? It's the one that's fought. Away, 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 away